Namaste from India. My name is Sunil Bandra and I am representing Save the Children India member office. The topic of my presentation is strengthening community based protection services for children during COVID-19 in India which is an initiative to strengthen the integrated child protection scheme launched by government of india in 2009 the aim of the scheme is to protect and prevent harm to children it functions as a government civil society partnership and based on the cardinal principle of protection of child rights and best interest of the children the guiding principle of icps says that protection of children must be the primary responsibility of family it must ensure confidentiality and privacy it promotes non stigmatization and non discrimination in its approach and institutionalization of children should be considered as the last resort icps also promotes family based alternative care in form of sponsorship foster care adoption after care and mandates the formation of village level child protection committee in each and every village of india but the current scenario is that this vlcpc requires enormous capacity to deliver on the expectation of icps key authorities such as district child protection unit and child welfare committee are located far from the village dcpu with mere 10 to 14 staff in place are expected to nurture 3000 to 4000 vlcpcs in a district and reach out to 400000 to 500000 vulnerable children in a district with limited capacity they are also supposed to do all the coordination work with the line departments and the ongoing covid-19 pandemic makes it further difficult for them to ensure timely justice to the children considering this save the children under its child protection system strategy started an initiative to strengthen community based protection services for children to bridge the protection services between village and service provider primarily and specifically the initiative is targeting three main aspects number 1 to empower child protection community cadre at grassroots level number 2 to prevent protect respond and rehabilitate at risk children or whose rights have already been violated in development as well as humanitarian context and bring them back to normalcy through structured case management system under steps to protect common approach program and finally strengthen and empower village level child protection committee and children group to ensure prevention and reporting the initiative is being implemented in the states of west bengal and jharkhand which are frequently affected by natural disaster and civil unrest and now the covid-19 pandemic in order to support this initiative we have initiated activities such as occupational standard based structured competency training to the cadres on icps and child protection issues remote case management with tele calling services for vulnerable children during covid-19 thereby reducing their protection risk standard operating procedure to work in development as well as humanitarian setting providing psychosocial support to children and families in distress during covid-19 identify most vulnerable and at risk children for our prevention and response interventions strengthen community based child protection mechanism prevent stigma and discrimination of child and caregiver during the entire case management process bridging connect and improving coordination between village and district level child protection structures improving response time for addressing protection concerns in the village the outcome that has been captured through evaluation and quality assessment of the initiative highlights that there is a successful linkage of vulnerable children with social protection scheme by reaching out to the most marginalized children successful assessment of around 2000 children under remote case management process address the needs of 6745 children through case management system psychosocial first aid and referral to protection services 100% vlcpcs were made functional we have strengthened children participation in our intervention we have ensured protocol and standard operating procedures are well followed in the entire case management process a community cadre work is duly acknowledged by the icps at local and district level we have been successful in addressing some of the root causes of vulnerabilities of children and families 
this graphical representation that is maintained electronically through software shows that the processes that we follow in the entire case management system right from the case identification to case assessment to case planning case implementation case review via home visits and finally the case closure this is a case of a girl who was sexually abused by her 70 71 year old tuition teacher during the covid lockdown period which highlights the processes that we have adopted to address the case by remote case management and telecalling services as a result now the abuser is behind the bar and the girl is safe at home while doing this the intervention did faced challenges in terms of limited economic opportunities available for families frequent natural disasters unsafe migration lack of market oriented vocational training to adolescents covid-19 induced risk are some of the crucial needs that has come up during the current period of covid-19 changes change in project management mode in covid-19 has put lot of challenges in dealing directly with children ensuring timeliness and providing counseling services to them remote case management is challenging due to dependency on technology and digital platform multiple responsibility of designated duty bearers often make child protection a least priority in order to scale up the model in other state and to ensure government government buy in which is still in process the intervention needs the continuum of funding so that this can be replicated in the other states allocation of adequate resources on child protection within the icps is the need of the hour and mobility is often a challenge during this covid-19 pandemic the learning for us from this initiative or placing of cadres at the panchayat level is an impactful strategy that can be localized to child protection structure they can play a facilitative role to link vulnerable children and families to services training of community cadre on remote case management including the tele calling process and remote psychosocial support including the psychosocial first aid was very helpful vl cpc understanding on laws and laws is crucial while reporting cases to the law enforcement agencies law enforcement and public justice system needs to be made proactive in taking timely action against rights violations children are learned to be the key advocates to uphold and create awareness on child rights and act as agents of change they need proper platform to amplify their voices compendium of social security scheme was very helpful in linking vulnerable children and their families with the social protection scheme finally the success of cadre in their work on child protection within the communities needs to be further integrated with the integrated child protection scheme thank you and i am very happy to take questions from the audiences namaste